Yeah, I almost forgot which lizard we were dealing with because of how calm. Oh, oh that oh. was me. And I'm gonna try and get an even better food item. All right, see you in a minute. What's going on everybody? Hanging out here. I got a bit of a surprise in this plastic bag dropped off by my buddy Ruben. Uh, Ruben has dispatched with some raccoons. And so if you're not into watching animals be fed, then please don't watch this video. But I don't want to waste uh, anything here. And this is going to be the first time Slinky's seen a juvenile raccoon. This is a baby raccoon. Um, there he is. I see Slinky sticking his head out. Is Slinky coming out? Yeah, he knows. I want to see if Slinky is excited about this prey item. So this is going to be a large feeding. Slinky! Come on, buddy. Look at this maniac. Come on, Slinky. Look what we got. Look what we got. Look what we got. Look at this. Let's see, guys. Usually, he's very indiscriminate when it comes to eating things. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh! Oh, he's got it. Now, just like the videos you guys have been seeing out there on Instagram and YouTube about Komodo dragons swallowing goats whole, this is what Slinky would do to a small animal. I mean, he's probably going to be able to swallow that whole thing. While he stares King Kong in the face. Yeah, that's Godzilla. Godzilla How dare you? Right. I'm looking at Slinky Oh, he's now, beating so. God, He's beating Godzilla with a dead raccoon. But it is so crazy to see how Slinky... Oh, here it is. He's got the head. Oh man, he's making short work of this, dude. That's the whole thing right there. I know, pretty much. You got, you know, also with, they have so much fur that they look bigger than they actually are. And once he's able to just get them head first, he's able to swallow them down. But this is definitely a good meal for him. Wild, man. Do you see how excited he gets when there's a new food item? Like he got really amped up. And, uh, you know, I like to get him excited. I'm very fortunate. I live in more of a rural setting. And a lot of my neighbors know the animals that I have here. And let me just move Godzilla. Um, they know the type of animals I have here. So, you know, when they want to get rid of certain animals, like raccoons, they bring them over to me. He's looking to get away from me. I think he's annoyed. But this is interesting. He's gone in the water. I've never seen him do that before. With prey. Don't yeah. hit me. Look, Look at this. This is it, man. That's it. And Holy it's gone. smokes. Wow, he was able to really get Still that thing it down his throat. Yeah, I know. It's so cool to see this happen. Um, the, my rule is, is that, you know, if you're going to bring me something, bring it to me already euthanized because um, I'm a softy, man. Uh, I don't want to have to you know, kill a baby raccoon or anything like that. And you can say about it what you will. If I had to, I would, but it's not my most favorite thing. Um, but I'm happy that that biomass isn't wasted and it's going to keep our animals healthy. He enjoyed that. He did. He like definitely he enjoyed, it. enjoyed that. And the cool thing about a whole prey item is, just like we talk about enrichment for their brains, there's enrichments for their digestive system. Now, this animal needs to digest whole prey items. He's getting the calcium from the bones. He's getting all the vitamins from the uh, sinew and muscle. And, you know, basically the only thing this guy Nothing doesn't digest wasted. is his fur. Look at this. He's drinking now. And nothing else is wasted. No, look at that. He's rubbing his head underwater. It's so cool, man. Slinky's the best lizard ever. He is. And this environment to watch him chase, well, what you would call prey, and then take it back into his environment here is so sick. It's really cool. Have so you guys cool. seen, I don't know if you've seen it, Matt, but there's there's a, a short reel going around on most of the social media of a Asian girl, and she's feeding temple turtles at a Buddhist temple. And she's just feeding them, feeding and feeding them. And then all of a sudden, a head appears, and it's a slinky. It's, it's a water monitor, and it grabs the food, and she freaks out. She just starts running. Um, because, you know, when these guys are in the water like this, and you don't see their bodies, they look like a giant snake or something, and it totally would startle people. And that's uh, exactly what monster. that lizard did. He does. He looks like a sea he's monster. A monster. Look at this. Look at the length of him right uh, He's an incredible specimen, I man. I yeah. love him so much. 
Yeah, the enclosure is good. The lizard's good. His diet is good. Uh, the temperatures are warming up nicely here in South Florida. And so I'm really excited about that. So Slinky got a nice feed, but you know what I want to do? Let's go check out the new Blackthroat enclosure. This will be the first time you guys are seeing it. It's been uh, active for a few days now. And uh, as we were walking out here, Matt got a chance to see it for the first time completely erected. I want to show you guys some of the little odds and ends I've done to it, and I also want to show you who's enjoying it. But look at this big monster crawling out of here. What are you looking for, Slinks? Look at how big and fat you are. He's not going to have to eat for another whole week, for sure. He's got a big, full belly. Truth be told, I defrosted some of the venison that my friend Kelly Young sent me a long time ago. You guys remember Kelly? She came over. Oh, there's his, there's his boy stuff right there showing us his little boy stuff in there. Don't whip me, Slinks. Never whip the back that feeds you. But look at him, man. He is still coming out of this water. What a handsome guy. I have a handsome lizard. All right. Good boy, Slinky. Woo! I did two laps this morning on my bike and I am feeling very dizzy. Holy smokes. We'll dehydrated. See you later. All right, man, that was cool. That was a really cool um, feeding. But that's not all we got here. Let's wander on over. And we're going to go check out some more of the camp. Let's go see what's happening with our black throats. As we were coming over here to Slinky, very excited to see the first documentation of one of the black throats coming out. Uh, you guys saw the video where I had brought them out. Well, by the way, let's just take a gander. Look at, we've got yeah. some Belgian grass. We've got some different variety of bromeliads that will eventually grow up and obscure the foundation a bit. Um, they'll really start to pop. Plus, I'm sure there's gonna be some ferns and things that pop up in here, but really enjoying this. Um, we have a lot of improvements. Capital improvements are gonna be happening here at the camp this summer. I'm gonna be doing a lot of work, so uh, get ready for a major transformation of the camp. Um, I'm going full on. Uh-oh, did that lizard sneak back in? I think he may have. Check it out. Come on in, man, let's go over here. Oh, okay. The lizard went back in. At least we know the door's working. These guys are enjoying the door but they're still probably a little bit nervous. Yeah, it came out, it was basking here, and it went oh, back, he's in. back in. Yeah, let's go in and say hello to those guys. We weren't This is cool, we can see right through. Isn't that awesome? Okay, that is very cool. It's pretty cool. Like it, yeah. I'm digging it, after you, brother. I'll, uh, I've got to do a couple more, um, I'm gonna throw some mulch back in here. We're gonna do some shell rock pads around the camp. Yeah, that would be better. Yeah, I, I just, you know, because I've torn it up so much, I think we're going to line it all with rock. We're going to bring up the level here so we're not in the mud, and it's going to be a really cool kind of walkway. We're going to do different plantings and stuff like that, so the camp's, camp's going to change, friends. We're going for it. Let's, uh, let me throw this away, and we'll go inside and see what the lizards are doing okay. in there. Yeah. All right, so this is the lizard that was outside. It seems to be exploring, very active. Um, we've just totally increased their floor space, their uh, environment, and really, really happy about that. Almost doubled it. I mean, it's just incredible, right? Look at this. Let's see what it does. Is it going to go in the water? Wow. It's really active today. Is there something in the pipe? Yeah, there is. Is there something in the pipe? Yes, it just jumped out. Really? I think. I did see something and then it disappeared. Look at this. Maybe it was this Look guy. at that. Oh, how cool is that, huh? Get them drinking a little bit. You see they know where the water is. Gets a little sippy sip. This makes me so happy. This is why I build these enclosures like this, is to make sure these animals have the best possible lives and uh, just seeing one know where the water is and use the door um, is really, really cool. Uh, you know, we just saw... Where's the other one up on the top? Oh, he's right above my head. He's right up here. Yeah. He's got a lizard right up here, man. Yeah. He thinks he's being slick. 
But uh, it's so funny, these guys... Once he discovers he can bask in actual sunlight. Oh my gosh, that's what I mean. Like, they're gonna be so happy. But what was cool is that you could see in from yeah. the outside, and if you look now, you can also see straight out into the new enclosure. And it's been working really well, so I'm so happy um, that this lizard did that. Let's back away and see if it'll come back over here. Uh, we'll, we'll have a look at this fella. Um, the other funny thing that I noticed about these guys, they even though these mm -hmm. aren't necessarily the most arboreal, um, they are big, look at this, what's he doing? He's actually climbing up the wall. Can he fit through there? Oh yeah, he went through to the first day we put him in here. Yeah, but is yeah, look, the, there's a big hole over there. Look at this. Look at this lunatic. Awesome. He loves it. Yeah, that's so cool that he can actually, can actually climb the tunnel. Let's see, is he gonna go all the way up or is he gonna go out the tunnel? I'd be happy to see him go out of that tunnel. That is so cool. Though. That is very cool to see him crawl through there. Oh, come on. He's so close. Oh, he's gonna come towards us. He does know how to go through it though. Yeah, really, really awesome. Look at how he's just like, what are you doing? Why are you yeah. watching me? So what, what I was saying though, it's funny, these guys, even though um, considered more of a terrestrial animal, all monitors when they're young like this, will like to climb. And that's because you notice he feels so secure up there looking down on us. Uh, and plus in the wild, he would be prey for larger rock monitors that are actually on the ground doing their thing. So very cool to see that they can actually oh, still look. climb up here. Oh, I love it. Crazy. Are you gonna bask in the artificial light? You know what I, I think I should do? I should probably shut the basking lights right, off. So in that here. they only go for the sunlight. Yeah. Because it is a competitive a competitive heat source. Right, that's exactly right. So I think it would make more sense to do that, to at least shut that off. Maybe just keep the daylight, the grow lights on in here. Um, there are two switches on these fluker lights. But yeah, he's just the ability for me to zoom in and not get as close and not have him react, this camera's a thousand times better. I'm <laughs> serious. That camera. You're right next to him and he's just chilling. Yeah, he's so cool. Now I think that's the female and that's the male. So awesome, let me see. Let's just see if I can get up here. This will upset him a little bit because now I'm higher than him, but let's just shut these off. There you go. All right. So we've shut that off and I think not happy. Not happy with me. Go on outside, will ya? We still haven't documented them going out. I did get them coming in, which was cool, but I really want to get them going now, out. Were you inside or outside? I was right outside now? and I watched them walk back in on the, the first video when we completed the uh, custom cages, the sun catcher here. Look at this. Come on, buddy. Maybe if we annoy him in here, He'll want to go outside. But I he, think more likely if we threw a rat down the top. Yeah, that too. <laughs> I had a bunch of quail eggs um, and that seemed to do the trip too. They were just kind of walking through, nibbling all of those things. But it's just uh, it's just fun, man, getting a chance to, you know, build um, these enclosures for these animals so that we can get them just super pumped on life because they do look happy. I know their faces don't change but uh, it's something in the eyes. They just look more alert, more happy with uh, what we've given them to exist mm -hmm. in. So I'm pretty stoked, man. This is awesome. It's, the cage outside is so Let's so go great. look at it one more time and just kind of check it out. I'm, I'm pumped. Um, these guys are very spoiled. And we still have Artie, the Argus monitor. He's gonna get big. I gotta figure things out for him. So we're gonna definitely do that. So that'll be cool. Hey, right now the lizard is eating some roaches that I put in front of and on the other side of the door. Oh, there he is. I can see his tongue now. You see his tongue? He's, he's seen, look at this guys. He sees the other roaches. He's about to push through the door. Oh, he's getting the sense of them. He's gotta push. He probably sees us too. Oh, got one of the other ones that fell up here. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw a couple more in that area so he gets the scent of them as well. He is right at the door. This is so funny. You can see him or pushing she. the door open. Really? Well, like when you see it moved just a little bit, but not at the moment. Well, was cr I cracked I wonder it. what he or she thinks of that door anyway. 
Oh yeah, you can see the little see tongue. The tongue. Oh my god! Oh come on, dude! Here we go. Here we go. Look at that. Come on, keep pushing. They have to get used to the feeling of the door. Look, he's trying to reach through. Yeah. Oh. He doesn't trust the door. No, no, he's trying to grab it with his hand. Look at that. That's Look at that. They're using their hands or their front claws to get at that roach. I think he's frustrated with the door because like he's pulling back and the door is closing on his hand, you know? Yep. Come on, buddy, push. He doesn't want to have to come out here with us. Come on. There's another one. If you just flick your tongue, you'll see there's another one. There it is. Come on. Oh my God, how funny. I could always just leave the door open, like just yeah, kind of- Yeah, that would maybe help a little bit. But I want them to get the idea- Right, even... right. So it'll stay like that with the heat. Oh my gosh, come on. He's so close. Push. Oh, he's losing interest. You know what, if I had my tongs, I could reach in there and like really get them to come out. I think we might have to get something else for them a different time. I don't know if they're gonna do it. Hmm. Oh, they found another one that I hid on the inside. We had, look at this whole trail we had later. Oh no, we're not done. Now this we is because, listen, this is now the saga. I'm gonna go get some long tongs and I'm gonna try and get an even better food item. We're gonna try and get this guy excited. Let's do it. All right, see you in a minute. Here he comes. Here he comes. Is it coming? Yep. Finally, here he comes. Okay. Nice. It's a little dark in there. There we go. Here he comes. Oh, oh looks so Coming good. Out. Oh, that's so rad. Looks so good. Look at him. Oh, it's so rad. There you go. All right, so. Come on, I can't lose it. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is exactly what I wanted to have happen. I wanted to see these guys you like really using their brains to get out here and to do all this fun stuff. I mean, look at it out here. It's awesome. Yeah. You know, we got some plants that are going to grow up. These grasses, muley grass. This is nice. a great little setup. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a nice, super easy. It's a nice little addition to what is in there. Right. Look at that. Look at how badass he looks crawling towards the camera. Yeah, that's a cool animal, huh? I was thinking about doing a series of tubes throughout the whole property. <laughs> Some like Slinky could come up to a uh, an area in my patio that's caged off, but I would have like a tube that goes that would be throughout the whole property. I mean, so Slinky could just pop up anywhere. That that'd would be, be awesome. Yeah, on the nights when we can't find out where he is, that'd be... Uh... <laughs> no, I would shut it during the winter. But during the summer, it, I think it would be cool, like a, a monitor lizard habit trail. I like how these like can smell that there's a roach in there and is going to try and dig it out with his claws. So the theme it seems like today is enrichment for the animals by using feeding. That's what zoos do. They might hide food items in like crevices or different uh, apparatus depending on the species of animal and they're able to um, and their dexterity to kind of get in and pull food out uh, like they would have to do in the wild. Uh, food doesn't just show up on a buffet. They got to look for it. And that's what this guy's doing. He got it. Look at that. He got that one out of the crevice. So that's pretty cool. And these are, you know, these are just little treats. These Doobie roaches from Fluke or, you know, you can get these in the can. What's really cool about them is they're super convenient. Check it out. I got my cargo. People make fun of cargo shorts, but bam, mm. I got but what about when you roaches. need to carry roaches? Uh -huh. You're See good. what I'm saying? And your lizards will love you. I also got some croc chow here. Did you? I oh, did. Look at that. I want to see. I, I don't I, I don't recall having fed these guys croc chow. Let's see. Easy, easy does it. Do you like croc chow? Oh, maybe you like that. It takes a few tries with new animals. Yeah. Every time we bring one in, it's like, okay, we need to realize that this is also food. It certainly oh. doesn't smell like a dead animal. Right, and now it's, let's see if I place it here, what it does. It's gonna get the whiff of that um, roach that's in front of the crotch house. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's going for the crotch oh, house. Look, look at this, that. look at this. Make a mess with the crotch yeah. house. Now you gotta play with your food, huh? Yeah, it's weird. Like, why would you think he does that? Probably because he's confused by it. But it is tasty. You're gonna have to pull it out. Look at that, guys. 
Let's back up a little bit. And, you know, having spent a lot of time with Tom Crutchfield and Kevin McCurley, you know, when you look at the animal's eyes, you'll see its pupils. Oh, he doesn't want the crotch jump. If you look at his pupils, they're really wide open. Uh, obviously, he was in a dark tunnel, but that's also a sign that he's like a little hyper alert. So now they're getting smaller. Look at this. I guess he's just more of a fan of our fluke or dubia Oh, definitely. So let's get some more out. Why not? Let's right. get them all the way out here. You can't, you know, once you figure it out, you don't mess with that plan. You just oh, yes. give them more of what's working. Let me, let me actually take the tin off in case it cut them. Oh, yeah, don't feed him out of it. Well, I was going to, I'll feed him out of it. Let's see. There you go. Look at that. Are we serious? We built a very cool outdoor patio with our sun catcher cage here. This shot right here is what it's all about. Oh, right here, coming crazy. out of the tunnel. Yep. Looking amazing. You can't standing right with, next to him. I know, but he can't with get it the with the his jaw. He couldn't get it with yep. his jaw, so he took his took his claw and he was able to pull it out. I don't know why I get so excited by that. It reminds me of Jurassic Park when they learned how to open doors. Right. But that's what that's the advantage of having enclosures like you do here is we get to watch them do things that no one that keeps their monitor in a cage will ever really see right done i mean at least not like we're seeing it no and it's uh, look at how close we are look at this but I'm there right are here. things here's the deal there are things you can do like if you let your animal out you give it outside right, the cage right. time that's important uh and you try and enrich because obviously not everyone lives in florida and of course you know but but you can still create a really good um habitat and life for your animal and there are plenty of people that do it up north come on oh, i love it i love look at this takes its claw pulls it out come on you can have as much as new you want. level of comfort achieved right there yes you're chilling him you know eating. i gotta tell you something else um i don't know if it was this particular animal but what i'll do is we're gonna gently touch the animal when it's eating. Look at the whole length of them. Look at that. This okay. is how we build trust. Look at this. We're gonna let him know, or her know, that when you get fed, it's okay to be touched. Is this great, people? That's great. I gotta be careful of my thumb. Yeah. But. It's pretty much locked on. Yeah, and, Guys, he's, and he's focusing on the food, seems look, like. This is this is the calmest it's ever been with me touching it. Yeah, I almost forgot which lizard we were dealing with because of how calm. Up, oh, up. That was me. Yep. yep. So and there's a reached, level of comfort when you move. She got a little freaked yep. out. That's no, okay, was, though. That wasn't even too bad. I don't think so. Not bad for a freak out. Just wants to go back to the safety. Yep. That she knows. So obviously. That was still pretty good. Yeah, look, let's watch her go through. Obviously, they know. Look at this. There you go. It's a new experience yeah. for them. And um, get that tail through. Yes. Boom. Man, that's so cool. So we're learning a lot about the psyche of these animals. Clearly, it's comfortable, it knows that area. It knows that's a safe area, I'm used to it. This is all brand new. So she's getting all kinds of new smells, all kinds of new stimuli. Um, and just a little movement from Matt was enough for her to like, hey, look. And that goes to show you what I've often preached about this. When you get an animal back into natural sunlight, it knows it's outside. It knows it could potentially be prey. So it's a little bit more insecure. Um, once it starts to feel comfortable and realizes, believe it or not, that this is a safety precaution for it, uh, they're gonna be great out here. But how about it? I was actually able to get hands on without her huffing. Uh, I named them Huff and Puff, by the way, the twins. Uh, so that's Puff. Huff is the big male. Um, she didn't do much puffing there. No, she didn't. She was really enjoying. Yeah, that's good. Well, all right, everyone, there you go. We fed Slinky a raccoon. That was fun. And then we got a chance to get our female blackthroat out into the new enclosure. 
I just can't wait to see how they develop and really come to appreciate and use this beautiful enclosure by CustomCages.com. Their link is in the description if you're looking for any a Vision Cage, Majestic Series Cage, uh, or of course, the Sun Catchers. They are the people to talk to. Check them out, CustomCages.com. They got a thumbs up from me. See you guys.